Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today, we're reviewing a brand new bourbon from the Castle and Key Distillery. This is Castle and Key Bourbon, batch number one. Castle and Key, Frankfort, Kentucky, Old Taylor Distillery. Maybe you heard of them, maybe you haven't. This is the first bourbon distillate being released that was distilled by Mary and Eve's like four years ago. Their bourbon distillate finally came to age and they were like, you know what? Time to start making back some money, honey. Since the distillation period, Mary and Eve's was like, you know what? Twas fun, but bye bye Mary and Eve's took an umbrella and opened it and let the wind take her somewhere far, far away from Castle and Key or something like that. Before we do any pouring, I would like to admire the bottle because the bottle is what some people would consider to be absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. It's a real showstopper, a stunner, a 10 out of 10, just a gorgeous bottle. It's got the gold, it's got the blue, it's got the feels, the textures. It's got a gold top. It's got a choke collar around the neck in case it wants to get dirty in bed. Like ruffles, it has ridges, so you know it's good. It's got a castle with a key on the front, so you know they mean business. America, shitty cork pop, Ugh. Heavy cork though, got a nice heavy cork. It's like a sundial for bourbon. Isn't happy hour anytime? Honoring history and challenging tradition. Castle and Key restored the historic Old Taylor Distillery erected in 1887 with a new vision and promise. The awakening of this legendary bourbon icon enables us to create captivating spirits and enduring memories. We craft our spirits with carefully selected grains and a unique barrel regiment to th thoughtfully produce distinct spirits to our exacting standards. Come raise a glass with us. They used some big words, so you know they're smart. Small batch, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Batch number one, bottle number 12,258. Aged four years. Distilled and bottled by Castle and Key Distillery. 4445, McCracken Pike, Frankfort, Kentucky, USA, 40601. Castleandkey.com. Like I said, this bottle cost me like it was like $56 or something after tax. Four years old, 98 proof. Color looks fairly light. It's a fairly light colored bourbon. Not exactly showing much age because it's not really old. So there's that. Let's go in for a nose and see how she goes. Wow. Whew. It's bright. Bright. Ooh. Bright cereal grains. There's a little bit of tropicalness happening here. A little bit of tropical fruit, but I can't quite put my finger on what tropical fruit I'm talking about. Maybe just like a slightly bad pineapple. There's definitely some youth happening here. I'm not getting a ton of barrel influence off of this. I'm getting a lot more grain influence. The nose isn't exactly a well-rounded, pleasurable experience. There's something in there that I do like, but it's kind of buried underneath things that I don't like. So there's that. Part of me doesn't want to smell it anymore, but part of me does. And I'm listening to the part of me that does because that makes it more of an interesting video if I just, you know, try harder to enjoy the nose. If you poured like some sort of tropical fruit juice over a bag of Gardettos in a cereal bowl for breakfast. It's kind of what it smells like. Castle and Keys, number one batch, down the hatch. Wow. Huh. It's, uh, different that's different um the nose is bright the palette also bright a lot of sharp notes a lot of pointy it's like a super tropical fruity grain 
if musk melons were actually musky, musty, it's like a must melon. Yeah, <laughs> must melon. Getting a bit of a plantainy nose on here too now. A little bit of plantain action. Wow. Yeah. Whew. It's very unique. It's got something happening. There's some stuff happening here, but the stuff that's happening isn't necessarily in my wheelhouse. It's not necessarily in the category of things that could happen that I typically enjoy. It's very sweet, but in a way that's like not exactly the best kind of sweet. If you kind of like a grainy profile, if you like younger whiskeys, if that's kind of your jam, this might be your jam. Castle and Key, small batch. Bourbon, batch number one. Receives a score for me tonight of... 6.2? 6.2? It's a 6.2? I think that's fair. This isn't really enjoyable to me. It's fine. I'm sure some people out there will enjoy it. Some people will love it. It's just not up my alley. It's definitely not up my ass. It's fine. It's whatever. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on finding the right person to cut your hair. Because I swear, I can't find the right person to cut my hair. Every time I get my hair cut by somebody, it's different. It's not good, it's not great. I'm like, you know what? Two on the sides, finger length on top. And they're like, what'd you say? Completely F it up? Is that what you said? No problem, I can do that. Then they proceed to do that. I once got what somebody called a hard part. I think it was called a hard part. It's like they made, this was short, then they made like a hard line like here, then it was parted this way. Or maybe it was a hard line here and parted that way. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, don't really remember. But anyway, I got that haircut once, then I asked for it again in two other places, and they were like, what? You want a hard what? Too bad, I'll do whatever I'm gonna do to it, it's gonna be bad. And I'm like, great, thanks a lot for doing it. I just need to find the right person to cut my dang hair. Cause this is all I got. Everything from here down is bad. Everything from here up, still pretty bad. But at least I wanna try, you know what I mean? Jeez Louise. Any little gal who graduated the third grade can go get a haircutting job now. And I'm like, Sophia, how many stools do you need to reach my hair? And she's like, just six. And if you lost a little weight, I'd be able to reach it better. Sorry, Sophia. My bad. Dang it. Good night.